The community of Moscow and this home on King Road are forever tied to the murders that took place inside. And that's why as the community focuses on healing, the university has decided to demolish it. Both the owner and the university uh, agreed and then consulted, of course, with the families and agreed that demolition of the house uh, would would indeed happen and happen as quickly as possible. This home that's now been seen by people across the country will soon be gone. For myriad reasons that all move toward moving the university forward, moving our community forward, and most importantly, um, remembering and, and honoring the four students that died. Which has been hard to do with people constantly taking photos and videos. There have been a lot of, of Instagrammers and um, other social media people hanging around the scene and that's really not helpful for us to be able to move forward. We spoke with one student that lives next door to the home on King Road. He says he doesn't want us to use his full name, but he told us he believes demolishing the home is the right decision. I think that it's important that the university does things like that for this town and this campus because um, people definitely need to heal from it. He says the murders that happened right next door changed how he views his town's safety. Before it happened, like, uh, I kind of threw caution in the wind all the time, like we left our doors unlocked, um, just never really felt like I had to watch my back in Moscow, Idaho. We installed a new security system and like I'm taking care of that every day. The university will also be installing a healing garden and memorial for Ethan, Zana, Kaylee and Maddie and other vandals whose lives were cut short. We hope that this place would be that place where students feel comfortable sitting or, or standing, reflecting, um, thinking about uh, maybe someone that they've lost, to have that place where they can go and feel that uh, the Vandal spirit and, and the Vandal family love. And this is all still in the early stages, but once it's complete, students will have a space on campus to heal and move forward from this tragedy. Reporting in Moscow, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.